we are back. Let's go, baby. Let's see what more. Oh shit! Let's see what more awaits us with the lovely Jisoo. Still a hundred. Ah, this is this is like confusing me. Um, let's go rip off the bookstore again. That's always fun. Let's go. I know you like TV. And you're gonna like the inappropriate book again, aren't you? Uh, shop for books. Yeah. Let's buy this. I like having something I can give to him. Yeah. Let's go! Now before I do that, let's have a look at my thing. Level 3. My fridge is veggie right now. May have to change that. Jisoo, not art. Shit, that's what's missing. I need to do my art skill. Feel like me, bugger. Okay, art. It's what I need to get going on. I'm gonna use you. A view increase. Okay. Can I give that to him? I don't know. Let's use. Okay. Look at this hive. Right. So I need to do some art stuff then. Then let's go with you to the art gallery. Yeah, let's go together. I just asked you. Yeah. Exhibition. Ah, uh, get inspired. Art skill increased. Come on. Come on. Let's keep a doing it. Let's get all my art up so that he likes me. I think that's probably why we're not progressing. We need to level up our arty stiffs and things. Oh, let's do this. Magazine, soap opera, homework. No. Stress. Let's get your room. Oh god. You're also you're such a shithead, go away. Thank god. Thank god. Um let's stay away from everyone. Right, I'm just gonna rearrange my fridge. Okay. Okay! Come on. Hey, Jesus. Yeah, look, we must be able to because there's two other things yet. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay. Shit. Shit. 
I just wanna cuddle with you, baby. Just wanna cuddle. Let's go out to the art gallery again. I know this is the most fun of times doing the same shit over and over, but he wants me to do my art. He wants me to be all artistic and fancy and girly and beautiful. So, gotta do this shit. Gotta do it. Because he's a big cutie patootie. Let's see how we're doing. I bet you it's exactly the same. Oh no, we're satisfied! Yeah! Okay. So... Maybe we should study. Because I kind of need to study. Eh... Hey. Okay. Spent the whole day reading a magazine. The whole goddamn day. Um, bathroom. Bath seemed to up a fair bit of everything. So femininity, beauty. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. I do need to get my beauty up because that is lower than other things. He's not in. So let's make up. Beauty greatly increased. So beautiful. So beautiful. I fixed all that damage I did with eating dessert that one time. Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Let's poke your sexy abs. Mmm, baby. I have other cherries on my wall. Oh shit, I went above the note paper. <laughs> Come on. Something's gotta happen, right? And it's gotta happen like soon. Hmm, let's do some more art. Oh, hello, my heart's up already. Stress, so proper, documentary, nap. Nah, let's do stress. Well, see, if they give me something good to do, then I do it, but they don't. Hey Jisoo! Let's give you some food. I know you love food. Oh! Here we go. Here we go. Perhaps because the weather has gotten chillier, but there weren't many people at the park. Looking at the fallen leaves while sitting on the bench with Jisoo, I was surprised that it's only been a year since we first met. Wait, what? It's been a year? It's not really a year. You met in the summer. So, your, so your sister is a quiet type? Since a few days ago, Jisoo and I talked about my family. I usually avoid the subject of family, but it was okay to talk about it with Jisoo. With Jisoo, I felt like I could talk about anything. When people asked me about my family... I would always lie that everything was fine. I was afraid of others' reactions and remarks if I told them the truth. If I don't have a happy family, it seems as if someone had done something wrong to break the family apart, and I didn't want to give people that impression. Tisa also told me about his family. He didn't go into details, but usually told me about his sister. Though she's still young, she does a good job in doing housework and enjoys reading books. She's not quiet, but just shy in front of strangers. She always follows me around. I think she's a really cute person. Yeah, really. Jisoo smiled softly. You must be thinking of his sister. She used to fall down a lot when she was young, so I always had to be by her side. Who does she live with now? Jisoo's living with me now. Who's taking care of his sister? I asked about giving... 
I had a lot of thought, but Jesus' smile suddenly disappeared. Not answering my question, Jesus stood up from the bench. Shall we go? He smiled. I could feel a cold breeze blowing from where Jesus was standing. Winter must be coming. I knew you were a stark all along, he drunk. I headed home with Jisoo before it gets any colder outside. Okay. Has that changed? No! What is going on? I need to study. No, not that, not that, not that. No, 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 no. And I need to work at some point as well. I've got to work. Decent cosmetics. I can get beautiful. Should I get beautiful right now? I think maybe I should. Maybe I should get it all prettied up. Let's see. Status. Adams. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to use them. Greatly increased. Oh, I'm so fucking hot. You still satisfied? Something should be going on. Maybe it's waiting for a certain date. Maybe Valentine's. Hmm. Possibly. Oh shit, I was gonna go to work, wasn't I? Balls. He's here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so baby cakes. Give you some food. Give you some booty, booty, booty. Wait, did he just say he likes me more than eating? Aww. That's pretty cute. I just realized I did not start the timer for this episode. Shit. Okay, time has started. Let's rest. Okay, Jisoo ain't there. Ah. I can. S Should I do my art? He likes my art. Damn it! I drew a rabbit dressed like a woman? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Let's go out. Let's go out with my baby cakes. Let's go to the cinema. See if anything new is on. Let's go. I don't know. Oh, it's the same film. Ah, oh, this is so scary. Let's hold hands. Let's look around. There is... Oh, there's a stamp. There's a stamp. I don't know what the stamps do. Do they help? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm still pale, dude. Let's just chill. Let's go out again. Let's let's not go to the beach. It's winter. Um, let's go rob the bookstore again. So many books, so many books. I know. I know it's a it's a naughty book. I know it's a naughty book because it happened like the sixth time already. Shop books. I am the fashion. Oh no, boop. And I'll buy him a little present. 
because he always likes it. Yeah, let's go home. Hi. He must be waiting for something because I'm like doing everything I can. Let's study while no one's in. Right, after ages of saying I was going to go to work, let's actually go to work. Cosmetics. Can make myself even more beautiful. But only slightly. Only slightly. Let's make me slightly more beautiful. Use. Okay. Let's keep going. Hey Jisoo, let's give you a present! Hmm. Let's see, come on. I'm gonna see if anything happens on February 1st. Oh, hello, dear. Pressure, plants, skin care. Mm. Skin care. Let's unlock that. Jesus! Hey, baby! Poke you in the necklace. He likes it. I'm testing you. Ah. Can't we just snuggle? February 1st, come on. Stop it! Can something happen? Anything, please? <sighs> uh, here, come on. Let this be it. Hello? Mom? I could hear Mum's voice over the phone. It hasn't changed a bit. Yes, Mum. I could only answer yes as always. Our phone call in half a year ended like that. Then the phone in my hand suddenly felt very heavy. Mum just said she was coming here to see me. Oh, fuck! I didn't have the chance to tell her anything about the guys that I'm living with. What would she say if she saw me now? I think she'd have some words. Some words in whatever accent I give her because I can't remember exactly what her voice is. Um, I have to hide everything. The animals, I have to hide their stuff. They have to make the house appear how mum expects it to be. I frantically began to gather the animals' belongings from all over the house. I have to hide everything. I have to make the place clean. What are you doing? When GC saw me stuffing the washer with a bunch of clothes, he looked at me in surprise. What, what should I do? Are you alright? What's wrong? GC came closer. I unconsciously backed away from him. GC stopped, giving me a bewildered look. My mum is going to visit me today! I must hide everything. Mum must not find out. Please, take everyone and go outside. Don't come back until tonight. Jisoo seemed like he wanted to stay, say something, but I ignored him and instead closed the door of the washing machine filled with clothes. Ugh, I'm freaking out. I have to hide all the evidences. The kitchen, bathroom, living room, my room, the entrance. I hid everything that belonged to the animals and cleaned the entire house from top to bottom. When I was done, I noticed that everyone had gone out. The house was completely silent. No one is here. I was all alone in the clean house. I could smell the air refresher all over the house. I feel as if I went back to the time when I was living alone. Back to my dull life. I seem to have gone back to the old me when I only showed Mum the daughter that she wanted to see. Uh-oh. I took a deep breath. 
Do you ever clean up? It's mum. High heels and a design handbag. Nothing about her has changed. Mum looked around the house with a frown. Afraid of her suspecting something, my heart began to beat fast. It's been about seven months since we met. She hasn't changed a bit. And how I act in front of her hasn't changed a bit either. So, you graduate soon, right? What about finding a job? It's been long since I gave up hearing how are you from her. I'm working on it. You shouldn't just prepare. Send your resumes here and there. You won't get anything done by just saying things. You need to act like everyone else. Mum said as she sat down on the sofa. You're going to graduate from an average school, so you'll probably work at an average company too, I guess. I thought that I was used to those words now, but they still hurt. Average. Mum told me that many times. That I have to be special. Any score lower than 100 is just average. And now I've become that average person Mum always talked about. Mum went out of... Wait. Mum went out of her way to make me special, but I ended up becoming an average person. I invested so much money into your education since you were little. I don't understand why you only became like this. Mum opened her purse and took out a small mirror and a lipstick. Mum? I called out to her in a small voice, but she was not interested in looking at herself through the mirror. Mum? What is it? Once is enough. Mum glanced at me with an annoyed look and began fixing her makeup again. Mum, why did you come here today? Mum, who was applying lipstick, stopped her hand. Why? Are you here to criticise me? Or are you here to tell me again that I'm just not special? I never once regretted moving out of the house. I tried to become that daughter that Mum wanted me to be. But no matter how hard I tried, I could not figure out what I wanted to do. Only anxiety would pile up. Don't talk to me like that! Mum put down the mirror that she was holding. She's finally looking at me. Do you know how much I invested in you? If I hadn't, you'd be worse off than you are now! Mum's angry face. That face scared me to death when I was little. I tried my best not to make her angry, but it didn't work. So I always considered myself as a bad child. I know that you're a failure, but since you're still my child, I just came over here to see how you're doing. A failure. Mum still says words that would hurt me so casually. If getting a job doesn't work out, just prepare for a law school. Why do you always try to push me? There may be something out there that would make me happier, something that suits me better. But why do you always shut out those possibilities and force me to do something that I don't want? I can't even try to seek for what I want to do because I'm a failure. Why am I a failure? What? A failure, a success, who decides that? You're the one who decided that. Ooh, no, you didn't. I've got to take off my earrings. I felt a sharp pain on my left cheek. This is the first time that she hit me since I was little. But I've been hurt by her words for too long. Slapping didn't even hurt. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Are you blaming me for not having a talent and for not working hard enough? No, I'm not blaming you. I'm just trying to tell you to not judge me as a failure. I want to say those words, but voices won't come out of my mouth. I was afraid that I would burst into tears as soon as I started to speak. Do you know how much I invested in you? More than any other mothers that I know. But despite that, you turned out this way. How do you think I feel? I don't know what came over you. I should have known the moment that you entered this college and went out to live alone. I should have known. I did the best I can. I don't know what else I can do anymore. No, Mum's leaving. I wanted to tell her something. I didn't even tell her anything yet, but she's leaving. 
I'm tired of being concerned about you. I'm going to live my own life now. Mum opened the front door. Just to let you know. The door closed. I stood alone in the empty living room. I didn't get to do anything. I didn't get to say anything. Come here, Jisoo. Give me a cuddle. I need a cuddle, dude. Oh, hey. Ejung. Jian was the first one to come home after Mum left. I could smell the strawberry shampoo that I bought for him. He's been using the shampoo that I bought for him. I have something to tell you. I could already guess what he was going to say. Although I knew I couldn't say anything. Aww, baby. Oh, this is sad. No. I'm going to leave this house now. I feel bad for always for having you always take care of me. I actually met someone nice. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite nice then. I looked up to see Gian's face. Someone nice? I know that all of us can't live forever like this. I should have been prepared to have them leave. If he had really met someone nice, I'd feel more relieved. Oh, I knew that his words weren't true. Oh no, don't go live on like the street, no. Yeah, I'm sorry about telling you sooner. But he's leaving. I can't see his bright smiling face or him teasing other animals anymore. And everyone will eventually leave. All right. I answered in a feeble voice. I knew it would be like this, but... Hey, Jung, are you okay? Jian asked with a concerned look on his face. Where's Jisoo? Is he not home yet? Jisoo. Jisoo, the person who accepted me for who I am. The person who enabled me to find happiness in life. Well, when Jisoo comes, talk to him. I don't think I'm the one whom you should talk to. Aw, oh, baby. No, Jian, don't leave. Jian began to pack his belongings. He's leaving. The faint smell of orange that lingered in the house is also leaving with him. Jian opened the door. Take care. And the door closed. I was left all alone at home. I could hear nothing. Am I useless because I'm a failure? Mum and Gion? There were people who weren't destined to stay with me. Mum? Mum didn't have any faith in me until the very end. No matter how hard I try, I can't do it. What am I supposed to do now? I think I did the best I can. How come I can't be happy? Why can't I become happy no matter how hard I try? Why am I living this busy life? Being so afraid of mum? I don't even have a goal. I don't even know what I want to do. Am I just going to graduate and get a job? Am I just going to get a job anywhere? Am I going to prepare for a law school just as she told me to? I'm home. It's Jisoo. I didn't feel like greeting him. So you cleaned up the whole house because of your mum? This place is totally clean. Hey, what happened to you? Will Jisoo also leave me one day? Will he stay with me until the very end, not abandoning me? I wasn't sure. He might leave me one day, just as Mum and Gion did. One day, he might disappear with a goodbye. Jisoo? Hey, what's wrong? What am I to do if you were to leave me one day? Gion left. What, so we eventually... Will you someday leave too? What? Are you going to leave like Gion too, leaving me all by myself? Jisoo didn't answer. Why? Why are you not answering? You can just tell me that you won't leave, that you'll stay by my side. So you're really going to disappear like Gion? 
I waited, but Jesus still won't answer. No way. Are you really going to leave? Someday? If that's the case, then... If you're going to leave someday, just leave now. What? Don't make me attach to you even more. Just get out. Although my face was a mess from crying, I looked up to see Jisoo. Although I told him to leave, I was actually scared that he really will. I wanted him to give me a warm hug and tell me that he'll be by my side. But Jisoo didn't answer. He won't say that he would not leave. Why did you guys appear in front of me? I asked the question that was left unanswered again. What do you want from me? I can't do anything for you. You won't get anything by staying with me. Why me? Why did you appear in front of me? You're going to end up being disappointed and leave anyway. So I'm going to be all alone once again. I just feel completely lost and helpless. And I feel pathetic, screaming like a little child as if to ask people to throw a pity party for me. It's fine. This is enough. What good is it if you continue to stay with me anyway? Jisoo grabbed my left shoulder with force. He looked at me straight into the eyes. You're really making me angrier right now. Do you know that? We're not going to be together forever anyway. Don't make me attach to you if you aren't going to stay with me forever. Don't make me like you. All of you will leave anyway. You're all going to leave me by myself. I know, so please. I don't want to get hurt anymore. I'm scared. It would have been... It would have been better if you had disappeared without me knowing it. Why are you suddenly acting like this? Is it because of Gion? I'm not going to let you go until you tell me. Jesus always looks at me straight into the eyes. And he accepts everything about me, even when I cry, even when I yell hysterically. Mum didn't look at me like that. She left without even trying. I burst into tears. I didn't mean to cry in front of him. But tears, tears kept seeping beneath my eyelids. Stop crying. Tell me everything. Before I could stop myself, I spilled everything out. Why did Mum... Mum? No matter how hard I try, why won't she accept me for who I am? Why? Am I not that good enough? I asked Jesus the questions that I've been asking myself. Jesus seemed baffled at my words. Am I such a bad person? Is that why everyone is disappointed in me and leaves? Because I'm not good enough? Because they don't like me? Did I really do something that wrong? Oh, what the... Am I wrong? All my hard efforts, were they all useless? No, that's not true. What are you talking about? Explain to me. Why won't mum love me? Why? Why won't she accept me for who I am when I'm really trying my best? Why did I become her failure? Failure? Don't say that. Snap out of it. Oh, hey. Jesus shook me roughly. That made me come back to my senses a bit. Hey, tell me one more time and I'm going to get really angry. I mean it. I could see his angry expression. Uh. Are you okay now? I blinked my eyes twice. I could see GC more clearly. His angry expression was nowhere to be seen. He looked very worried instead. Listen to me. It's not your fault that Gion went out. He has complicated reasons of his own. I don't know what happened between you and your mother, but calm down. Why didn't you tell me anything until now? It's my problem. How can I tell you? It's something that I've never told anyone before. Promise me. What? Promise me that you'll tell me everything from now on. Promise? Does that mean you'll listen to everything I have to say? I'm going to be worried if you don't. You look as if you're going to fall apart at any moment. I felt touched. I'm not sure if it's because this is the first time that someone has shown me this much care and concern, but 
No matter what you do, I will watch everything until the very end. I promise. God damn it. Promise me. Is it really okay? GC won't hate me even if I tell him about myself. And if you don't promise me, I'm going to kiss you without permission from now on. My face flushed. How can he say those words at a moment like this? My face must look terrible right now from all that crying. I looked up and saw that Juicy's face was a bit red too. What I mean is, it's okay to depend on me when you're having a hard time. Stop acting so tough. Depend on you. On Jisoo? You're not a superwoman and no one's going to give you an Oscars award for acting tough when you're secretly crying alone. I never cried alone. I actually did cry alone a few times in my room. I was so nervous about my future and I felt sorry for myself for not being loved by my mother. Hey, I already knew from a long time ago. Jisoo hugged me. So you already knew. I felt ashamed and pitiful. But Jisoo was hugging me and telling me that it's okay. He always, he says that he even accepts the ugly sides of me. Maybe I really can tell Jisoo everything. Maybe it will be okay to depend on Jisoo, who accepts me for who I truly am. Okay. That was pretty sweet, pretty upsetting. Jion's gone! Jion! Um, but I don't think there's dick we can do about that now. So, I'm going to end it here. I will see you guys in the next episode of this and we'll see what's what's the happy haps um so bye